Hello, and in this video, we're going to make setup for adding some props along the road as well. So to start with, I want to use the information from the road tool. I want to use the second output, which were these lines. So I'm going to use a blast node, and we can then use this information. So more specifically, in the blast node, I want to use the straight parts here and I want to reverse this. So most of the time when I want to have information, I want to place them on the straight parts. So let's say I want to set a tree. I don't want to set a tree where we have this corner piece. So I only want to set a tree when we have a straight part. So from here, we can start, for example, very basic. We can do a simple resample. And with this resample, when we enable points, we have created extra points. So with this distance over here, we can then set how many of these points there should be on the line. So let's, so let's say five could be a nice number. You can, for example, use this for uh, the trees or another model. So in this case, let's use a add node. And this add node will just clean up the geometry. So I only want to keep the points. And from here, I'm also going to uh, create an attribute which is then called the Unreal instance Unreal instance and this is a string value and and I want to use then the path of my model so in my case I want to use uh, these stone pillars so I want to have these stone pillars around the border over here so I'm going to Copy, right click, copy, reference, and use this in Houdini. So this is set up. And also something interesting here, we need to set up the scale as well. So all of our other uh, instances over here, they have a scale value. So if we were not to have a scale value over here, so that might conflict uh, when opening it in Unreal. So we're going to set here scale. And scale is three in size and just put it in one, one, one. Now it is also possible to have a, for example, a attribute random and then have a random scale. So we're just going to, for example, fill in scale over here and then we can have a random scale value. So that could also be interesting. But in here, I actually want to stay a consistent scale because I think it would look weird if the pillars would have a lot of scale variation. So now I'm going to connect this to the instance and I can already check this out to see if this is working. Go back in here, rebuild the system and wait a sec. And as you can see now, we have all these pillars now nicely being placed along the parts. So you can add more or less, or you can also include this border if you want to, and also add some pillars on there as well. So you can decide so you can decide where you want them, of course. Now further, let's add some trees. And I'm gonna actually going to do a very similar setup. So I might just, well, copy this over here. And from these trees, we might need to make some changes. So I don't want that many. So I want in the resample, increase this value. So maybe 10 or 15. So just to have a few trees. Then we can also use a peak node and with this peak node it will move points along normal so if i would enable the so if i would enable the normals and you can see each point has a normal direction so if i would increase this value of the peak node it will move along the normals so i'm just going to increase this value a bit so just so i don't collide with the information from early on then we have the same setup here for creating an instance. So remove the geometry, keep uh, setting an instance and also setting a scale. Now what also can be useful is to have a random delete, to also have randomly delete a few of these points. So what we can do is use a delete node. And in here, I want to delete, of course, points. So make sure it's set to points and I want to have an expression. And I want to have a random. And I'm going to say add point number. So look at the 
point numbers and get a random value from this and if it's for example bigger than 0.8 then delete them so now a few points are now being deleted so we can play around with these values to delete more or delete less then i'm gonna merge here these values together like this so now we have different variations as so also making sure that we override this uh, information this path and then we could save this and quickly check in game if you want to so now here in real i can see that my trees are being placed and you can see that some of them are missing so we don't have everywhere trees and here it could also be a good idea to, to then use that different uh, scale variation so we can use that randomized scale to then have a variation in our trees so you could use here a attribute randomizer so we can for example skip this plug this in over here and now we can have a random scale so the minimum value could for example be 0 0.7 0 0.7 and then we have different three sizes so it could be nice to have then the last placement i want to place down some trash bins and i want to have some more information than just this uh this line what we could do is we could go over here and ask the pavement uh, geometry and i'm just going to put a null node for that so here and we can use an object merge node to then reference this geometry i'm just going to drag it in here so out pavement so now i can have this geometry here and i want to use a poly wire and let's just give this a high value like this like two and then boolean these two results so the pavement with the poly wire oh, and i want to set this to uh, intersection and now i have this information so now i have this information which is the border size so if we would increase the uh, poly wire we can then have a, a bigger part of the pavement what we can also do here is do another boolean and we could bring in here our building files so i can here plug in my buildings over here and then i could for example start uh, subtracting this information so as you can already see here so in here i have a pavement border and i subtract the part that's overlapping with a building so just clean up the shape so in case we are having a building we would cut out different parts so now i have the correct pavement so now from here what we could do is for example a simple scatter node so this will just randomly place points here and there as you could see they're just randomly placed so let's say we want to have for example 60 trash bins in the city and then we can play around with this seed value to then place them a few place them nicely around so this is another example on how you can get certain information from what we have here so i'm going to copy paste this these nodes for instancing and i'm going to make sure i set the right model and fill this in over here and let's save this and see if that works and as you can see here we have some of these bins placed around You can of course play around with more settings to to get them on a different position if you want to in this case i think they are just okay so that was it for placing down some props i showed you a few ways on how you could get some information to place props so i hope you enjoyed this videos and thank you for watching